hi guys this is the bold and the beautiful review hello <laughs> it's been a long time uh, seriously I've had uh, <laughs> a crazy two weeks okay there were doing renovations right now and seriously I it took me time to um, I didn't watch the b, b okay to be honest I was not watching and um, so I had to catch up, basically. So that's what I did. I binge watched all the episodes. I was like, ar, 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 ar. um, it was cool. The, there were a lot of episodes that I kind of fast forward because I was like, oh, filler episodes. Mm. You know, that's right. Anyway, so Nicole popped the baby out. I was like, yeah, girl. Whew. Um. Zende watched the whole thing, okay? She he watched her uh give birth and he was just like I was touched. I mean you're so generous, you're good, you are amazing, Nicole. You know what? Let's get back together. I was like and Nicole was just like, Alright, let's get back together. I was like, no. Like no. Seriously, like, like you knew all along that I was going to give up that baby, that I was going to give that baby to my sister. That was, I was not considering that child as mine. You knew what I was doing. And now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just give birth and you're like, let's get back together. That's too quick. Like, I, I, I felt like there was something missing. Like, take some time. Just, and also, I just, I understood um why Zande broke up with Nicole I understood why he did that but I just feel like getting back with her that quickly and not even having a conversation with Sasha it was just like what are you doing I know that you're feeling like Sasha is not your girlfriend you don't you know it was nothing like that but still you do owe her an explanation especially when you're letting her say that oh y'all are together we boyfriend and girlfriend we in love you're letting her say things like that or believe things like that but you i mean come on Zende, I just felt like it was wrong. And I don't understand how come people are excited or are pushing Zende and Nicole together. I am sorry, but the guy actually had a relationship with the, his ex's sister, his ex's best friend. Like, at the time, he didn't know that was um, Nicole's sister. But still, that was just disgusting. Like, and you're claiming that you love that girl, but that was your relationship just screams disrespect okay disrespect so i'm not i i don't get it i don't know why vivian was like yes you gotta get back in the cup mm -hmm. mm -hmm. why why you accepted 40 years of bullshit with your husband and now you're telling your daughter like yeah go back with that man i know sunday's a good guy but still he did something awful i'm i'm sorry like that was my sister you still having a relationship with her and uh, i'm pregnant and like you don't care about my feelings and you want to get back to, with me now and it's i i don't know that i i didn't like that as much um so then they went to see sasha he was like yo you know what I mean, we had a good time, but so Sasha was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Then they looking like, what? How? I was like, dude, don't ask how. You know how, okay? And uh, nothing's 100%. So I don't care how much you, you, you protected yourself, whatever. Like, it's um, nothing's 100%. Uh, oops, sorry. Okay, so um, he's not asking her for nothing, no um, pregnancy test or anything. He's just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He took her word for it. But Nicole and Maya were like, mm, we don't trust her. We know she play games. She's a liar. So girl, Sasha, while you're working, we're going to be like, hello, we got a pregnancy test for you. Take it. 
So Sasha leaves, and I don't understand how come they're not following her. I'd be like, where do you think you're going? In the bathroom, we're going to be there with you. Since we're all ladies, we're going to go with you. Let's go, Pete. We're going to watch you. Like, I don't understand why you let her leave. Anyways, Sasha left, and she saw uh, um, a lady who's pregnant, okay? And she's like, Go, you can go in the bathroom, but don't flush. I was like, ew, ew Sasha, are you doing? Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do? <sighs> no, that's nasty. Like, you're gonna have to put that. Oh, I was like, no. Anyway, so she did that. Okay, she schemed. And Maya and Nicole were like waiting for the results. Nicole called Zanday. She was like, Zanday, come here. Okay, we're gonna see that chick lying. Okay. Zanday's here. She, he's like, okay, where's Sasha? Where's Sasha? And they're like, she probably trying to stall for a minute because she ain't pregnant. We know that. So Sasha comes in. She's like, she got the pregnancy test. And Maya's like, well, what's the result? Let me say. Let me say, there's nothing. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm you lying, girl. You lying. And then um, Sasha's like, I need to talk with Zante, okay? All alone, all alone. Nicole's like, mm -hmm. okay, Maya, come with me, Maya. Cause Maya looking at Sasha like, mm. and I'm kind of disappointed that the first interaction interaction um uh with um Sasha was like this because I feel like after the discovered that Sasha was in fact Julius's daughter I feel like Maya and Sasha should have had a, a, a scene together like where they were like you're my sister that's kind of weird I mean like just a little conversation before we get back to the Zande Nicole Sasha drama like I feel like there was something missing L like but it's okay so Sasha and Zende are talking and Sasha's like here's the stick I'm pregnant it says that I'm pregnant but I'm not pregnant boo I was lying okay I didn't want to lose you and I'm sorry like but I told you the truth though so Nicole came back and um she was like, you a liar. I knew you were a liar. You're not pregnant. And th they're watching the whole thing. And um, they're watching. I mean, Zende is watching the whole thing, staying silent. Like, he was like, where's the popcorn? I need something to eat, you know? <laughs> and um, Sasha was saying, you know what? I didn't have a father. I was on my own. And this was the first time that a guy actually liked me. And, um... You know, I didn't have a father in my life. And the couple was just like, but at some point, this excuse is, is going to get old. Okay, it's already old. And I was just like, I get it, Nicole. I, I don't like Sasha like that. Okay, so for me to defend her just a little bit, that's just, ooh. But uh, I kind of understand. That's 20 years of her life, if not more, okay? Or 18. I don't care. That's more than a decade of her life where she felt rejected, where she was watching her dad be with his family and not including her um she had to follow all all of y'all to la because she wanted to be close to her dad and still her father was just acting as if like bitch you need to go we don't want you okay go away she he, he was treating her like a disease okay like Ooh, i don't want to get close to that okay he so understand the girl okay that's 20 years of hurt so that's a 20 uh, that's gonna be 20 years for for 20 years she's gonna be using that excuse how about that okay no but seriously um i do feel like sasha needs to like move on from this okay we're as of you are i'm not gonna want to listen to that excuse <laughs> i'm tired already but uh i do understand her but <sighs> I think what I'm trying to say is that, girl, you have opportunities here, okay? That you don't, like, even though you want your dad, I get it, but you could be a model, okay? You could make money. You could be the next Maya Avant. I mean, apparently Maya is something, you know? It's somebody now. 
But you could do something for yourself. Okay, I don't understand why you playing games and trying to destroy your sister's relationship because in the end, then there is no prize. Okay, you, you, that's nobody. Why do you want him that bad? How did you fall in love with him? I don't understand. Okay, you saw him for a minute. You were like, oh, he cute. Then you learned that that was your sister's boyfriend. So, I mean, as soon as you 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 discovered that, you should have been like, ah, that's not for me. Okay, and it's not like it took you a month before you found out um that nicole was involved with zenday you knew right away like 20 minutes after you met him like i'm gonna need you to just hey you you deserve it you deserve that kind of pain so nicole saying i said to zenday you know what uh boo boo could you leave because i need to talk to my sister i was like ooh, you calling her your sister you really nice and Nicole said to, to Sasha, sorry, boo, but you need to leave. Okay, go back to Illinois. And Sasha was like, okay. So probably, Sasha probably going to leave. And then she's going to realize that she's really pregnant. And then she's going to come back with her mama. We're going to see Lucy because Vivian is talking to, I saw a preview where Vivian was saying to Julius that, you know what? Of course I'm going to stay with you, okay? I'm mad right now, but I'll get over it. I was like, of course you're going to stay with him. Of course. I didn't expect anything else. So you just need you just need to see Lucy, okay? <laughs> Lucy's going to come back for you at some point. She's going to come back and mess it up. <laughs> okay. Um, and one thing I wanted to add is as... um. Sasha was about to leave and she says, you know what, my relationship does not compare to your relationship with Nicole. I get that. He, she was talking to Zendaya or Zendaya and Nicole. And Zendaya said, but I did care for you, okay? And I was like, dude, wait a minute, stop, okay? This is Sasha you're talking to, okay? You never said to her that you loved her, but still she managed to think that you love her. <laughs> and um your girlfriend soon to be girlfriend is here listening to the whole thing so why are you saying you used to care about her and like shh, you 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 just had to stay mute okay you didn't have to talk you should have just been like you know what i hope you you have um where's it where, where's your plane ticket <laughs> you, you just say nothing but that's Zenday trying to be a nice guy but just stop talking anyways so we get to Maya and Rick they're at the office they're talking about everything but their baby okay because Rick is all about rich I don't know I don't understand that obsession he's all about rich 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 he did that he's not making good decisions and I'm just like what decisions the, the, tell me what what bad decisions that he made i mean i want to know because i remember when you were ceo there was a list people were angry you couldn't um preserve the unity in the company um the profits the profits were up but that's not because you wanted them to be up you were actually sab sabotaging your own line and the prices and stuff you wanted to make ridge and caroline pay and to make them pay you had to hurt the company but you did not succeed um you even brought a gun to the in, in forester creations you were shooting at your ex-wife and brother half brother so I'm I'm just wondering what good decisions did you make? You actually punched in the face of Bill Spencer, the one that could help you get the company. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Dude, d d d d what what did you do for your company? I want to know. And when he's talking to Eric and saying stuff like, Dad, put I want to be CEO again. Just kick Ridge out. And I'm just wondering how. Because... Eric is not the one that kicked you out in the first place. No? Like, if I remember correctly, Ridge kind of teamed up with Bill 
and Steffi and Liam. And that's how they got the company, right? Eric was not involved in all of this. So I, I'm, I'm, I have a hard time understanding what they're trying to say. And Rick saying that um, Ridge's bad decision uh, it's weird that Rich sent Thomas to China. I was just like, why? Your father just told you that Rich is trying to expand. Okay, he feels like Asia is the place. So he's trying to expand there and show his presence there. So why would he not send Thomas Technically, he's supposed to trust his son. He does not trust you right now. You are trying to, you know, get back to the CEO seat. So why would he send you over there? Oh, but he really needs to, he should have talked to me because I'm in charge of international. And I'm like, but boo-boo, you're having a baby, right? I'm just, I'm sorry. Don't you want to see your child be born? No? Are you interested? I'm, I'm just asking you. And especially when they're acting as if this is Eric's first child, okay? Because I remember Eric Jr., but I don't know where that child's at. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. So I, 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 don't, I, I don't get it, Rick, okay? If, if Rich would have talked to you and been like, um, Rick, um... I need you in China. You would have been like, man, he, he, he doesn't care about me. He's doing this to piss me off, okay? Like, seriously, this is a way to make me leave, make me go away, you know? This is a way to punish me. Like, you're never happy, Rick. And you're, seriously, I don't really remember your child's name. Because you don't really talk about your child. You talk about that child for 30 seconds and then you go right back to Rich. Rich barely mentions you. Barely talks about you. Doesn't care that much about you. Okay? Then we get to Rich. Oh my, my. Let's get to Rich. And Thomas. So Thomas is like, Daddy, don't send me to China. Because I want to be close. To Douglas, my child, my son. And we're just like, you need to gain experience, so go to China. And it's good for the company, it's good for the family, and it's good for Douglas. I'm just like, no, it's good for you, for your pride. But um, I have to admit, I was mad at Thomas because he was acting like a child, a baby. Like, daddy, no, I don't want to go. And I was like, but dude, don't go. You... Where's your power? Where's your strength? I'm I'm gonna need you to fight. Where's the bite? Where's the arr, the forest to you know roar? Where, where are you? What's going on with you? You deserve to lose it all because you acting like a child. Like you acting as if you got no power. You, you let him. You letting Ridge run you. Okay. But then Thomas said, "I ain't going to 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 um." China no more. Okay. Hello. I'm in the house. Oh, you making food for my, my daddy, Caroline? Go ahead. Make that sandwich. Because I'm staying close to my son. And Caroline knows that what they're doing is bad. Okay. It's bad. She knows it. She's feeling bad about it. But you know what? Daddy Rich said we got to do what we got to do. So she got to do whatever Rich wants to do. Um, Rich goes downstairs and he like. So, how come you're here, Thomas? Thomas like, I ain't going nowhere. And listen to me. I am Douglas' daddy. You, you want to raise my child? That's all right. But I'm making the rules, okay? I'm making decisions here. It is understood. Is it understood? It's understood. Understood. I was like, yes, Thomas. Yes, Thomas. You got your balls back. I'm happy for you, boy. I'm happy for you, boy. Yes. And Ridge was like, okay. All right. And what I love about Ridge, he's nev he never looks like he's sweating. He never, he, he looks always in control. Katie coming in and saying like, I know about your secret. I know Thomas is a daddy. You need to tell him. 
or I'm going to tell him and he looks like, okay, all right, I'm going to find a way to handle that. I just, I love that about him. I just love that. Anyways, um, guys, that was the review, okay? Um, there's a next, the something else coming up soon. Probably Monday, I don't know. Um, but it is the review. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like me on Facebook, okay? The, um, there's a, I'm, I'm trying to be there more. Okay, uh, as you can see, I already uh, posted uh, the preview for actually it was two days preview. Anyways, whatever. I posted a preview and I said next week I'm gonna be back. So, ooh. and um, yeah. So follow me on Twitter. Soiree on Rose. Soiree on Rose. Hey, Soiree on Rose. I'm gonna try to be there. Out. Woo. Anyways, bye guys.